The Harry Potter franchise has become one of the most successful franchises in the world and you probably know a lot about the books and movies as well as the different characters. However, we are sure that some things have slipped your mind and that you have forgotten certain actors who were in the magic movies. There is no need to worry though because we will gladly refresh your memory and show you 10 Harry Potter stars that you forgot about. Let's start with Frank Dillon who starred as Tom Riddle in one of his first movies in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince in 2009. Unfortunately for him, his role was completed after this movie but he has gone on to work with actors like Benjamin Walker and Chris Hemsworth in the movie In the Heart of the Sea which tells the story of the Essex, a sinking whale ship in 1820. He has also scored a role as a drug addict Nick Clark in the TV series Fear the Walking Dead and we will probably see a lot more of Frank Delane in the future. Do you still remember Lee Jordan, the enthusiastic Gryffindor student with the dreadlocks who acted as a commentator for the Quidditch matches? Luke Youngblood was the one who made his character come to life in the Harry Potter films which kicked off his acting career. He is easily forgotten though as we didn't get to see this character much in the later movies but that did not stop Luke from landing roles on American TV shows such as Magnitude and Community and Sid on Gallivant. You have most likely forgotten that Northern Irish actress Michelle Fairley played the role of Hermione Granger's mother as she makes a brief appearance that lasts only a few seconds in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows when Hermione obliviates her parents to remove herself from their memories. Fairley is much better known for her roles as Ava Hessington on the TV show Suits and of course Catelyn Stark of Game of Thrones. Although you surely haven't forgotten about the powerful and infamous wizard, the fact that Ralph Fiennes was the one who portrayed him from 2005 to 2011 can sometimes be overlooked because the actor has worked on so many projects since. In 2012, he starred in the 23rd movie of the Bond series Skyfall where he impressed the producers so much that he will be in the future Bond films as well. Fiennes also played a role in the Grand Budapest Hotel which brought him a Golden Globe Award nomination for Best Actor and voiced Kubo's grandfather in Kubo and the Two Strings. You most probably remember Harry's fellow Gryffindor student Dean Thomas but it's often forgotten the British actor Alfred Enoch portrayed him in 7 out of the 8 movies. Even though he's often present, joining Dumbledore's army and much to Harry's dislike has a brief romance with Ginny, he doesn't have many lines making it easy to overlook the fact that Enoch played the role for such a long time. Today he stars as Wes Gibbons in the American TV series How to Get Away with Murder so it seems like someone paid attention when watching the Harry Potter films and Enoch made enough of an impression to get his career rolling. Moaning Myrtle was probably one of the more annoying characters of the Harry Potter books as well as movies and some of you may have forgotten that 37 year old Scottish actress Shirley Henderson was in fact the one who portrayed the eternally 14 year old ghost girl. She appeared in two of the eight movies and was the oldest actress to portray a teenage Hogwarts student but with her pigtails, large glasses, pitchy voice as well as childish demeanor of Moaning Myrtle she pretty much had no trouble nailing her performance as the moping ghost. John Cleese's career had been ongoing for a long time, spanning over the 20th and 21st century when he joined the Harry Potter franchise to portray the Gryffindor ghost nearly headless Nick, also known as Sir Nicholas. The popular writer, actor, producer and comedian has portrayed many iconic characters like Robin Hood, Sherlock Holmes and the hilarious Basil Fawlty on the British sitcom Fawlty Towers but many hardly recognize Cleese with the long curly hair, mustache and goatee of his ghostly character in the first two Harry Potter movies and have since erased this role of his from their memory. The first part of Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows movies opens up with a close up shot and an intense speech from the Minister of Magic and perfectly captures the tone of the magical world that is living in fear and uncertainty from Lord Voldemort's impending reign. What might have slipped your mind however is that Bill Nye played the role of Scrimgeour. The English actor is known for his wide range of roles in many different genres in film, television as well as theatre but despite all of that his role as the Minister of Magic was rather short lived and so his performance is easily disregarded. Scottish actor David Tennant gave an intense but pretty brief performance as Bartimius Barty Crouch Jr in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire where the son of an influential Ministry of Magic official masqueraded as Mad-Eye Moody to manipulate the Triwizard Tournament. 
Therefore, we only get to see Tenentis Crowd Jr. for a few moments at the time of his exposure, as well as in flashbacks, and so it is totally forgivable if it faded from your memory. Josh Herdman started acting at the age of 7 and starred as one of Draco Malfoy's sidekicks by the name of Gregory Goyle, but we wouldn't be surprised if he has completely slipped your mind as he quit acting after the Harry Potter films and hasn't starred in any movie or TV show since. Instead, he began training as an MMA fighter and in 2016 stated that he loved the sport because it's raw, exciting and unpredictable. So should Herdman become really successful in his new profession, chances are you will get to see him on your screens again, only it will not be as an actor but as an MMA fighter. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you are new. Also don't forget to turn that post notification bell on so you never miss our uploads. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.